This is the cheapest pair. These are Home Alone forms. I got these for $30. Yeah, I don't need no Jordan 1s, bro. If I ain't keep the most basic colorway, I ain't gonna keep nothing that's like super colorful. I don't know what it is. They're ugly, but like a good ugly. I need foot surgery. It took me three weeks, but okay. Second video for the channel. It's my sneaker collection. And it took me forever what to land on, what to do for the second video, because the first one was me going on a hike. That was like how I was gonna start. And I was like, I don't know. I feel like I would do a hike vlog again, but not right now i was so sore after that by the way i'm sore right now but the first shoe it's from the thumbnail it's the a6 gel light nyc and i saw this video it's from a guy named i don't know why i want to say drew holiday it's not drew holiday but it's like drew something and he was like why sneakers are kind of fading out of popularity and it's a lot more of like vlogs or boots or loafers and just just non-sneaker shoes or i guess just like people being more interested in shoes besides like sneakers just like jordans and yeezys and stuff now honestly i didn't watch the entire video but i do get what he's saying just like it is i i feel like i didn't notice that kind of shift too but i mean i still like sneakers i also like shoes that aren't super sneaker-esque i only have probably i think two right now that probably wouldn't be just in that sneaker realm but this is this is one of them one they're really comfortable like they're not super narrow like i have kind of narrow feet but i also got bunion so i mean the more space i can get the better and i don't know what colorway this is but it's oh something they got a yellow stripe the other one i was gonna get was the green one i'll put it on the screen i was like set on that and then i, I want to say i walked into like a finish line trying to get those they didn't have the color but they had these just not my size and, and i sat there and thought about it i'm like yeah let me just get these and the other shoe from the thumbnail is it's handball specials basically the samba's little bro i was gonna get the dark blue version of this for version colorway of this one but I don't, know, I don't have that many bright shoes i'm like this would be a nice a decent change i feel like now since sneakers are so cheap you can kind of just get whatever because before it was like sneakers were super expensive but bro sneakers being cheap is the greatest thing ever not even that i've been buying a lot of shoes i really haven't but like if there whenever there's a pair i want like 99% chance it's gonna be way cheaper than it used to be only one that won't be is some easy boots i still want some easy boots like the tote blue or maybe the um the oils but just not the um i think it's called like sand like the light brown ones i've seen those a million times i'm like yeah it's just, i'm over it i just wanted either the dark brown which is the oil or the toe blue with like the blue stripe i hated those at first too and then they grew on me yeah these aren't the most comfortable in the world but i mean they're more so flat so it's like not not a bad thing it's not it's more of just like to my foot and it does have a good a decent amount of art support so at least there's that i also have i think it's called like the vehicular accessory bone or something like that a bone in the medial side of my foot it just sticks out a little bit i didn't even notice it until like three years ago i probably had it my whole life never knew it was there but i need foot surgery all right i decided to be a smart guy and just take out all the shoes now instead of just going back and forth but i'm not going in any order i just want to do the two thumbnail shoes first assuming that the thumbnail is even the same but this is the cheapest pair these are home alone forms i got these for thirty dollars in my size i'll be buying those shoes. it's not my size i'm not buying it bro i have i have way more shoes than i need I, why am i why am i squeezing into a pair why am i triple socking double socking to get into a pair no it's not my size i just don't it's not i don't need to love those shoes that much but yeah these are like kind of my beater pair but they're not in like the worst condition it's a little bit dirty on the side but like these the black mark towards the toe and then the one on like toe box there right above the red that's on purpose that's like part of the shoe design because it's like explosions from home alone i guess and then it's like felt on the tongue with the home alone logo this one says adidas but oh no they both say adidas on the tongue where it's like torn away i thought it was different for some reason but yeah i still need i'm gonna get me another pair of forms specifically the bad money forms i hate him for making forms expensive for that period of time that he did there was a pair of white ones i was going to get just retail price off adidas site he drops his they're hard but like he drops his and then they just go up to like 250 i'm like bro could have told me first like what are you doing but yeah that was when i used to work at the adidas store and we had like a 70 percent off sale not even like my employee discount was 50 but that was 70 percent off for clearance one of my friends he found them first and I, I was looking at him like, bro, if you don't get those, give them to me. And he couldn't fit them. So he gave them to me. I was like, yes, please. And it's the first pair of Yeezys, pair of 500s. Um, I don't even think I meant to buy this colorway. I went in there to a sneaker shop called United Kicks. One of like the only sneaker shop I've ever been in where they ain't just trying to throw $400 at your face for a regular pair of shoes. 
but yeah i went in there for a, a pair of gray ones I think they're called like ash or something like that but then they didn't have those i guess they forgot to update their site and they're like oh we do have these in your size they were used in like probably like 50 at the resale price so i was like yeah i will take them i will take them i do still kind of want the military black cities i'm like do i really need another pair of the same exact shoe not really i know i just had the bad bunny forms but those are different enough for me to cope so yeah next is the it's the Brembury crocs i didn't know about the echo crocs when i got these i would have got the echo ones but i'm like i don't need again no need to pair these are fine they're black you can just throw them on the annoying part is i wear a 10 and a half and you know crocs they'll be running in half sizes so this i do have to put up with the double sock or just it just flipping flapping around while i walk one of the two i know my sister got me the pink ones as a gift but she didn't know about the sizing thing so it ended up getting me a size 11 and yeah them, them joints was huge they were massive they were just gonna fly up my foot so i ended up i didn't end up keeping them even if i did want to but yeah i ended up finding the black ones for about the same price so it was fine i think this is the only pair of pumas in my possession puma really don't be having it i wish they did I like they could Maybe I'm missing something. You let me know. These are just a pair of suede, the red ones, and I put some chunky laces on them. But these are also like kind of ears. I just had them for a really long time. Like my feet stopped growing at like 16, which is great. Cause every shoe I've bought since since then, I've either I either have it or I sold it. It's never been like I've outgrown the shoe. Only one that I did almost outgrow or it just shrunk on its own was these white superstars. I had these since like 2015, 16. They're a size 11. I wear a 10 and a half. These fit like a, like a 10 and a quarter. They just shrunk over time. I think I had them in a box. Like I just had them sitting and I forgot I had them and I was going through my closet. I'm like, bro, these are perfectly fine. Like they yellowed a bit. I'm like, I don't care. And then people started yellowing the soles on purpose as like a, a TikTok trend or something. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I put the chunky laces on these and that Home Alone forum, they had, like special insoles that was the part i forgot to show then i'm thinking about it and i had an extra pair it came with like two or three pairs and i just put one of them in here i think you can see that yeah i put the other pair in here because <laughs> i had the original soles i had taken them out and cut them in half and i was using them to put in the back of a shoe that i couldn't fit it was like the just do it forces apparently they go for like 500 and I just didn't know that and I could have I definitely could have just sat on them and sold them for way more than I bought them but whatever I ended up wearing them they were like a size 12 way too big I was triple socking it that's why I said triple socking earlier is because of that shoe I don't have it anymore it took me forever to get rid of it because they were yellowed but then like not the same on the yellow one shoe the next it was yeah I got rid of them all right this is like one of two pairs of dunks I own okay no the pumas aren't beaters these are beaters these in the forms are my beaters these are like some tropical colorway I want to say it's Sun Club. Oh, you see, it does say it on the tongue. I can read. But yeah, it's a Sun Club pink and then some blue on the inside. They just some goofy dunks that I like. And it's like a canvas material, so it's a lot more comfortable than a regular dunk would be. And since I got this pair, this is the other pair of dunks I own. Dunk highs. They're the uh, Fragment ones. I never heard of Fragment until these. I don't really care about it. I just, I mean, purple. Purple is my favorite color. I mean, yeah. I was like, oh, purple and black dunks. Yeah, that's me. And I put some white laces on them because they had black laces. I didn't like them. Once I did this, I started wearing them a lot more. So that was really that. But yeah, these, this, I don't know if it's like the good or bad leather for dunks. I know there'd be a difference, but whichever leather they put on this, it's not as comfortable as the canvas on these. But I do like highs more than lows. Like apparently, I didn't know people hated on dunk highs. Like I, I really didn't know that until I saw like random TikTok before in the comments were like, yeah, we do not mess with the highs. I'm like, oh, I know you'll hate mids or Jordan one mids, whichever. But I'm like, I like the shape of the, of the dunk highs more. Like I had a pair of Jordan ones. I think it was like the stage hazes. It's like black, white, and gray, which is like as wearable and just normal as they can get. And I still didn't really wear them. I ended up selling them. I'm like, yeah, I don't need no Jordan ones, bro. If I ain't keep the most basic colorway, I ain't gonna keep nothing that's like super colorful. What I am keeping, you will never kick me out this hill beatniks i don't know what it is they're ugly but like a good ugly and there's a version of these i didn't know about when i got these it's like a puffer material they put on it i'll put it on the screen if i can remember and it may or may not be north phase but those are the ones i would get i did say i wouldn't double, on, double up on a pair but i mean 
I would get those. I would probably get rid of these. If I, if I got the pepper version, I would get rid of these, honestly. But yeah, I would just get the black pepper version of Beatniks. They just flat. They they comfortable in like, you know, giving my foot space because I'd be I need surgery. I think this is like third to last pair, fourth maybe something like that. But these are um a pair of three fifties. It's the MX something. I almost said MX dirt. They would call them that. But yeah, it's like black and brown. I like it. Only other pair of three fifties I was thinking about getting that I couldn't find for as low of a price as I did these was the um it was black with like a white stripe and it said like the supply on the side i was thinking about getting those but yeah those i couldn't find them for the, the same price as these i don't remember how much i paid but i know there was like a hundred dollar difference and i was like i like these too so i'll just get these and then the last pair easy till i get the boots is my foam runners i will also ride with these i wouldn't double up though i would just get um i wanted one pair i do like is the i think it's zellerfeld that that makes them and then the designer is i i can't remember i'll put it on the screen but it's like a pair of um i can't ever remember but it's like slip on shoes and apparently they're super comfortable i don't know if they're as comfortable as these but i'm like as long as it's close i don't really care i also want the boots they have on there i think those are hard i think i would get like the black ones if not the uh i think they had a tan pair i would get they like it's a site you just when you order it you can just scan your foot and you can choose like the firmness of the cushion like it's kind of nice they expensive it's nice we almost there this is an impulse buy it's the uh kith adidas premiere sc premiere i think and that's the adidas one i meant to grab the kith one but yeah i went to la with my friend i live in southern california by the way went to la with my friend we had went to uh the rose bowl and a couple other spots I ended up at the kit store, one of the two, because there's two kit stores like 10, 15 minutes from each other, because you know they gotta have one on uh Rodale, the street in Beverly Hills. I got it, they got a store up there. I ain't go to that one. I went to the other one. But yeah, they got this little kit on the side. The thing I like about kids collabs, they only cost like ten dollars more than the original version. And they're always in stock because kids site they when it comes to shoes they always got stuff in stock so it's not like because they had a name is attached that you got to pay in abundance more for it granted it is the exact same shoe just with that little logo change that i mean you know it was my birthday i was feeling stupid so leave me alone and this is the brand i got onto early i feel like which is stray i don't know how big they are now but i definitely i found them a little bit before they had some more traction it's the uh puff logan i want to say Came with like the fattest laces I ever seen and some the nappiest of suede's. I'm a hoe for nappy suede, but like bro, other nappy suede shoes I want. Only like one of like three pair of Jordans I'd ever buy. The uh, Purple Canyon Fours. I want those. But I always hear about how uncomfortable fours are. I'm like, I, I can wait. And plus, like, it's a good thing I'm ten and a half because those are a women's only. That's what I hate. When I thought I was a size eleven, which was for a long time, which is why a lot of my shoes used to be big. When I was talking about not buying the size that I don't wear, <clears throat> I eventually found out I'm like, oh, I've been wearing a big shoe for a long time. I thought I was eleven and a half at one point. I don't know why, but yeah, luckily I am a ten and a half, so I can get just the biggest size of the purple cane there's just probably not that many pairs floating around I also have some hoop shoes like i have some kobe 11s like rest in peace but i got those in like i graduated 2019 so i graduated 2015 i got a pair of kobe's the uh it's like a black and white pair i want to say it's the last emperor emperor is their colorway bro them things indestructible i could still hoop with them right now if i wanted to like obviously the cushion gonna be worn down but like the actual traction of it it's fine i could just use them as outdoor shoes i could still hoop in those to this day that man's <laughs> make sure made sure nike sold some durable shoes but last is the these cause sakai blazers my most uncomfortable shoe by far if i had to stand or walk for more than like three hours i will not wear these but i thought about like oh, would i ever get like the pack because i got these for 80 dollars like whatever I get like complete the pack there's four different colorways like maybe I probably shouldn't have said that I wouldn't buy the same shoe but I guess it turned out to be a lie huh but yeah these were $80 when I saw a cotton Sakai on one shoe this was like before um sneakers became way cheaper than what they are now I was like oh there's no way those are going for anything under like 300 I'm not gonna get them right now it's okay I went to that same <clears throat> that same sneaker shop United Kicks I saw them I'm like oh what's it gonna be just you know, go ahead and hurt my feelings real quick 80 
and they're my size so yeah i, I impulse bought them i don't regret it because that was years ago and they still here and i still wear these i even wore them on the last pic i posted on instagram you should go follow me it saved college it was probably by college for since like 2019 but i wanted something shorter and i can't have a three letter username on certain apps so i always gotta put something else with it but yeah that is everything uh one i forgot i don't have the mic no more but it was these <clears throat> i think this is the first pair of yeezys that bought or like shoe yeezys not just the foam runners i still like these are these i almost sold them at one point i'm glad i kept them because they just i feel like i need some shoes that just look stupid color wise maybe you think they look stupid in general but like, i like them so yeah that's it i do want a pair of regular boots too but that's money to be spent in the future and not right now so without all that being said uh leave a like on the video since you're still here subscribe to the channel and uh yeah if you missed my last video the hike vlog in the national forest i'll leave it up on the screen right now bye